things can happen, life circumstances, and it can happen to anyone. In 2007, I was married. Me and my husband formed a transportation company. Um, thereafter, the company failed as well as the marriage. And on top of all of that, me and my four kids found ourselves homeless. As a mother, the hardest thing with dealing with homelessness, it is trying to protect my kids. I left home at 18. At 19, I was married. At 22, I found myself with twins and with no place to go. As a single mom, I realized how difficult life could be, and I could not do it alone. And because of what I've been through, I've always had compassion in my heart for single parents and always wanted to care for my neighbors in need. At one point, me and my family were living out of a car. I was desperate to just have a new start for me and my family. I had heard about the Jensen's house through word of mouth, so I just decided to sleep in the car um, in the Genesis parking lot to be the first in line to get a place to stay. So I walked into the Genesis home and I was greeted with a welcoming smile into starting my new life. The process was about three to six months. It helped us to quickly move and transition from the Genesis house to our own home. As a mother, it was just overwhelming to kind of walk around in their own yard and their laughter and, you know, us just being a family in our own home. I first met Janae through Circle of Support. Once a week, we meet as a group to discuss the needs of our household. We pray, they give encouraging words, and we talk about um, finances, jobs, stability, family unit, and it's based on relationship, a friendship. We are made up of mothers and grandmothers, singles, educators, it is engineers. It's our diversity that makes us strong. We have a real problem here in Durham. On any given night, 800 people experience homelessness. Rapid Rehousing is a one-day volunteer program helping these families and individuals move out of the shelter into permanent housing. And Circles of Support is a one-year commitment building relationships to help these families and individuals sustain their housing. Overall, this experience has been awesome for me and my family. I think that this needs to be known to the community how it's helping people to get back on their feet and establish life once more for their kids. We all have gifts, talents, and abilities. It's just a matter of finding out what your passion is and using that passion to serve others in your community.